If you're looking for good, cheap golf balls, you might want to check out Vice. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. If you're a golfer, you have probably heard of Vice Golf Balls, but you probably haven't seen them a lot because they are a direct-to-consumer brand, and I've always been tempted to try them out. I've actually found some abandoned ones on the golf course before, but the Vice Golf brand is kind of interesting because it's supposed to be a really good quality ball. You can get a variety of different balls for different types of golfing that you do, kind of the different types of hit, the different types of need that you have, and they kind of are a little more youthful and quirky, and you know, they kind of have like this urban art on their boxes it's pretty cool i definitely thought they look pretty cool i've seen some of their videos on youtube they seem like a bunch of fun loving dudes if they were based around here i would totally apply for a job to work there because it seems like a fun place but the fact that they're direct to consumer means that they are a fraction of the cost of the big name brand balls which sponsor tour players and which give away a bunch and run a bunch of commercials and all that kind of stuff so if you're looking for a quality golf ball you might want to try out vice now you can go on their site and do the selector and kind of put in your golf style whether you need distance or you need accuracy or feel and they will give you some recommendations and some of these come down to like a dozen for like 12 or 13 bucks which is kind of crazy now they do have some that go up to like 30 40 bucks but i wanted to pick up this vice tour ball right here for one particular reason it had nothing to do with the shot type or the feel of the ball or anything like that i'm going to open these up and take a look now i'm also not going to try these out in the golf course because i'm just not a good enough golfer to tell you that there are minute differences between these and any of the big name brands but it's a really beautiful box here it's actually a box that you wouldn't mind putting on your desk or your shelf because it actually looks pretty nice and it's not overly garish like some of the bright neon colors in the foils it's just kind of cool looking so anyway I like that I do like packaging that looks nice now you can see that they have put them in here just like this they did that on purpose so what you can see here so if I hold it vertically like this you can see that it, the blue borders this little marlin it looks like and that marlin is on the box so obviously two sides of this are that artwork i really like it and i like the fact that they are thinking about those details so when you order these it's just kind of a good looking box they could have totally made them a basic box now there's probably some cost in this but i'm assuming that when you have been as successful as these guys you can put some pretty nice packaging at very very low cost now this is the tour white they also have some um balls of color Ooh. I do like that Vice logo. It kind of reminds me of the Vice News Channel. I don't know that there's any relationship. I don't think so. But why I got this is because that tour line right there, it might be a little hard to see, it actually says tour, but they put a black line there and then punch out the tour in white. Now, what this does to me is it works as an alignment aid. And a lot of golf balls now have alignment aids. And I don't understand why there are any that don't. I guess maybe some people just want to look at a nice white surface when they are putting, driving, you know, pitching whatever it might be i guess you can't reorient it when you're pitching but when you're putting this down on the tee or when you're putting this on the green you can set this down with your ball marker and i love these lines because now when i put it down and i line it up with where i want the putt to go especially if i'm trying to read the break or something like that and you get over it even a slight change to it can really push your shot off and it's just kind of a nice extra reminder now the reason i picked these up is because i actually love this golf ball this is the callaway triple track golf ball it has absolutely made a big difference in my golf game in fact people have been telling me when i've been putting they're like man you are just crushing your putts you know even the ones that miss are so close and i will credit that to the triple track and the lines now what i really like about these is that there are multiple lines so if you're not directly over it especially when you're driving and you line this up you can still see lines right they're not kind of on that horizon or beyond the horizon the other thing i love about these is you can see just how far down the lines go almost an entire half of the ball right and so you know even if you've got it rocked a little bit one way or the other you still have plenty of line now this is a little bit of a trade-off because it's clearly only you know one sixth of the ball here right you know i'd say maybe like oh 40 degrees of the golf ball or something like that so it's not a ton i wish it wrapped around a little more i don't mind that it's a single line i certainly wouldn't mind dual lines or maybe some flanking lines on there but um this is something that is so important to me now i almost won't buy a golf ball without them and i actually have some interesting alternatives for people coming up in future videos too when i'm going to talk about that but the vice golf tour golf balls do have the alignment line on there and i think it's pretty nice pretty good not bad hey if you want to pick it up because they are less expensive than 
some of the other name brands out there and they do come with an alignment aid right on there i will put a link to them in the description below peter von panda out